So what we're looking here is distribution binomial distribution, BPD, binomial probability distribution, is the equal sign, and BCD is binomial cumulative distribution, which is that sign. So this one is your BPD, and that sign is your BCD. Okay, so what we're looking at here is because we've got inequalities, then we're going to go B, C, D. For all of these, I want you to have um, the number of trials to be 20 and the probability of a successful trial being 0.25. So how do we rewrite this one here? How do we rewrite that so that we can use B, C, D? Because it's got an inequality, we can't use that one. Or we could, but it would take longer, because you'd have to add them all up. So for this one, how do we rewrite it? We're looking at the probability that X is greater than 5, so we're actually looking at the probability here. So how do we rewrite that um, when we're looking at uh, the probability of X being greater than 5 is the same as 1, because that's the total area under the entire thing, minus the probability, oops, get it right, the probability of X being less than or equal to, because that's what the BCD calculator does, and I need to put a number here. So the shaded area I'm trying to calculate is this. So what number do I have to put here? Five. Okay, so we had here, we had greater than five, greater than five, so here it's less than or equal to five. What would happen if there's got an equal sign there would be that that's the probability that we're trying to find. So we would have to go one minus, so let's go, if that was like that, what would happen here? Four. Okay? First one done. Next one, keeping that the same. So for this one here, x is greater than four. So what we're trying to add up is all of these areas, all of those probabilities. So we say the probability that x is greater than four is the same as 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to something. So we're trying to find 1 minus this area. What's that area? Less than or equal to? 4. Okay. So you would then put 4 in your, um, in your calculator here, right? Uh, where you've got the x, you'd have 4 on cumulative distribution and you'd get your answer. Okay, if we were to change this and instead it was greater than or equal to 4, we would be trying to find this, oops, this shaded area here. So that would have to be greater than or equal to 4 is 1 minus the probability of x is less than or equal to 3. Okay, so it is quite logical if you draw the diagram. Next one down. Uh, the probability of x being greater than 7 equals 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to what, Matt? Three. 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 7? Okay. So here we've got greater than 7, had to be 8 and above, so less than or equal to 7, 1 minus all of that will give us the area that we were wanting. Uh, if we go the probability that x is greater than or equal to 7, that equals 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 6. Okay, nice. We're getting the hang of this. Right, moving along. So, oops, hang on. I've got some other ones for you. And let's go up. Okay. So this is a little bit different because this has got it correct, if you like. That, that goes straight into the calculator. What do we do with this one? 
probability of x being less than 5, so that's this. How do we rewrite that to put it into the calculator? Yes. So you must put this in your calculator because your binomial cumulative distribution has got this sign. It does not have that sign. Okay, so you can't put the 5 and you've got to put the 4. So this one here, what would we put into the calculator? Okay, nice. And shall we colour that in? So less than four of these bits. Alrighty. And this one here, less than two, is going to be, oops, we can't even colour it in. Okay, so that's going to equal probability of x being less than or equal to. What, it's, it's 1. The probability that x is less than or equal to 1 actually equals the probability that x equals 0 plus the probability that x equals 1. Just making it clear. Okay? So the cumulative distribution you could get from the other one by going the probability x equals 0 plus the probability equals 1 plus the probability it equals 2 plus the probability it equals 3 plus the probability it equals 4 and that would be the same as the probability of x being less than or equal to 4 if you added those all up. So the binomial probability distribution has got the equal sign and the binomial cumulative distribution is just adding up from left to right with that symbol. Did that clarify things for anybody? Yes. Um.